I think the New Friends this year actually gave us a lot to think about. Uh, one of my first New Friends was Studio 71, and they opened with this video from Francis Coppola back in 1991, and he was talking about content and how you know, the professionalism is of movies is going to actually transition into an art form because anyone in any state with any kind of device is going to be able to start filming and create beautiful art. And I think it was interesting to see that kind of prophecy, in a way, if you will, back in 91 and then living it out today. And throughout all of the new friends, we saw this really theme of original content kind of coming forth. Um, but it was interesting in this year's because we've known we've been in that. We've known we're in this age of YouTube, we're in this age of influencers and creators. But this time there was almost a polarizing effect of we have content that is so purpose driven. And then we also have content that is just fun and you can escape this you know politically charged world so there was these two different types of content and i think that each of the um partners in the new front kind of straddled the balance between that in that kind of polarizing way they they really did a good job of like we're fun and this is a place to just enjoy and be you and create and then also we have purpose-driven content and as a brand it's kind of our job and as marketers to understand where we fit in that and how we can also kind of be in between and in the conversation leading culture, but also have this idea of play and this idea of fun, especially coming from the PlayStation perspective, which is the account I work on. So it's given us a lot to think about of what kind of content we want to surround. And there's, you know, vi wide variety now. Uh, and that also kind of with the content continuing to be a main focus, it comes into data. And that was another key theme that I kept seeing in the new fronts was this idea of data. And there is these contents and almost these channels and it's gonna become even more important as these different um, networks have their own data. And it's almost creating, I hate to say it, but walled gardens in a way of their own data. We have this show here and this show here and this show here. And so it even is more important for us as advertisers of how we're gonna video neutral plan and so it's getting us thinking of how can we be smart with data how can we be smart with planning uh, how can we be smart with our digital dollars and our broadcast dollars working together and building that incremental reach around all of this content and all of this data and also brand safety which i'm sure everyone has talked about has been a huge thing and that kind of ties into data as well and how each of these partners are brand safe and premium content and the steps in which they're taking to get there which i think is just assuring advertisers um, that they're in safe place they're in safe hands and and that's something that they need to hear right now and something we need to hear as well so it's that's been the majority of the themes that i've seen and probably the last one would just be this year compared to other years. And I, I could be wrong. I've gone to these a couple times, but not, not as long as other people, I'm sure. But there was a lot more brand involvement. Um, and so Seth kept seeing, okay, you know, building trust with like this brand has done this and this brand has done this and having other brands talk about what they've done with each of these providers has been very interesting to see um, and see the trust that they've built kind of have that halo effect on hopefully other advertisers too to continue to work with them or to start working with them.